Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to build the SSH adapter request for the session based approach with the multiple prompts. In the left side I have already created the command XML which have a multiple prompts. So in the right side let's uh, execute all these commands uh, manually and I will try to uh, map it to the commands XML. So I am uh, logging to the particular username and the password. So this prompt is actually a system prompt which you have to provide in the uh, prompt input parameter. So we will uh, see it later when we execute these uh, uh, commands uh, in the adapter request. So, so I will execute this command and uh, now switch to su to the root user which actually prompt for a password. So it's a different prompt and you will get the uh, hash as a different prompt again. So here uh, in the prompt uh, password prompt what happens you don't need the exit code because its execution is an input it's not a, actually a command we are invoking so here um, we may need to add here ignore exit code because um, it doesn't require any exit code so I have uh, put that here exit code in the command argument so let's uh, do again uh, who am I so here you can see that it's a hash prompt but um, when you say exit uh, suppose first of all we will create all these commands and pwd this is a command okay now we have to we have to exit from the uh, root user so now you have got again the system prompt so here in the exit command uh, we need to also add it into the exit command because we have to exit from the uh, su user and the idea is behind how to uh, uh, specify the prompt you can see that whatever command we are taking and the prompt after the command ex execution we are adding into the that particular command Now execute the same request in the dev studio for SSH process. So here is my tar, uh, host name and username and password. And this is the system prompt I have specified here like we see in the uh, when we execute that manually. And this is the command XML we have provided. So let's execute this request so now in the output you can see the command output so these are the output of all those commands in the output parameter for that particular command in the output XML. Thank you.